Hey, for this video, I wanted to showcase the the most expensive item in my collection. Uh, probably also the best item in my collection. I bought this when I was working in DC after graduate school, so I had a fellowship for uh, over 10 months. Had that job, and I still owned an antique mall in Southern Delaware that was making a little bit of money for me. So I was feeling my oats a little bit, I guess, and I had a pretty decent Delaware bottle collection, Hutchison style, and a few Pondles bottles, earlier Pondle bottles. They were particularly hot at the time on eBay. There was two or three new collectors um, chasing those bottles, and one of the new collectors had, was coming to my antique store, and I told him about the collection. I hadn't, I didn't have it on display. I hadn't been adding anything to it. I had just sort of set it aside for a while, and he was interested in buying it. Um, all, all of it. So, which is the only way I wanted to sell it. I didn't want to get stuck with the more common stuff and just sell off the easy, the rare stuff. So, this came available uh, from my friend Jeff and Holly, uh, Nordsies. I loved it. I, I love pottery. I still love pottery. It's actually the only piece of pottery in my collection, but if you're only going to have one, make it a nice one. Um, and so, the price was, it was a lot of money. <laughs> And so I had that like 50 bottle collection. I sold that off. Paid for more than half of this, but not, not probably not 60% of it, or probably not like 75% of it. And so um, I sold off my bottle collection and I paid the rest out of my checking account. Still love it to this day. That was, that would have been, I guess, 2013. Still have it to this day. Still love it. Still my favorite piece. And I'll tell you what makes it so good. It's, it's from Getty's New York. It's not a particularly rare mark. It's actually a fairly common mark, but it's it's all about, of course, um, the condition matters, the age matters, all that matters. But what makes this one expensive more than others is the blue, the blue decoration, of course. And as you can see, the blue really fills the space. There's not a lot of empty, it fills the canvas, so to speak. That makes it really nice. A lot of great, um, a lot of crocs that have great decoration stuff, maybe they come in here or something, they don't quite fill the whole thing. So that really sets this off. It has four distinctive features. It has a very nice bird. The bird by itself would be nice. It has this big flower, which is cool. It has the ground cover, which I really like. And then has this thing, which I always refer to as a sun, but um, the little swirls in the sky. So it's the combination of having all four really cool elements, um, really, really detailed. And like I said, fill in the space. It's a it's a one gallon size, um, and it's just great condition and just a great blue decoration that fills the space. That really sets this apart. But that's the story behind the best piece of my collection. I just I saw it online. I saw it available online. I fell in love with it. it took me about two three weeks to make up my mind to buy it or not. But. And I had to reach out to the other guy to see if he wanted to buy the bottle collection, which he had talked about. Uh, and Jeff held it for me for a while while I made the payments, but yeah, I just love it. He actually mailed it to me. <laughs> so that was always fun, getting some expenses like this through, uh, th through delivery. But it arrived safe and sound, and I've had it ever since. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, a sneak peek into my personal collection. Um, I'll be doing more of these in the future and talking about what I like about certain things. So anyway, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos if you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Thanks.